sound changes with the, <laughs> we're at the Nürburgring. Yeah, we're in down changes K swap EG. Um, I'm actually here in the M3, but unfortunately I've got a few issues. Did one lap yesterday just to try and test out the brakes and um, yeah, well I was testing out the full car obviously, but the brakes were shown to be weak and uh, the front pads were very, very bad. So today we're gonna try and get some new front pads for the M3, get them fitted and test them out on a tourist lap tonight. So, it's a decent intro on it. Yeah. Here we are at the Nordschleife. Nice place, the weather's great. Yeah. Yep, there we are, there's Mike's EG. Downchange, Mike, what do you want to be known as today, this week? Downchange, keep it real. Yeah, yeah. OG. Nice slifer. So yeah, I'm here in the M3, but um, unfortunately we had some issues on track last night with the brakes, so that's what we're trying to sort out today. So I figured it'd be a good time to start the video because I want to do a few videos this week. Not really got a plan of what's going to be happening. I'm on a track day tomorrow at the Nürburgring. We're all on, Mike's on, uh, Josh is on, Pete's on, Pete's here in the Accord, Josh is here in the Coupe. So three Hondas and then my M3. Uh, hopefully get some, some decent Honda action as well because on track yesterday the M3 was insane. It was like, well not insane, it was just out of this world. Compared to me normally being here in the Integra where, you know, flat to the knackers and everything's rattling about and you're screaming VTEC. The M3, we just cruised about, had air conditioning on, it was class. It was like another world, but I don't know if it's going to be that exciting on video. Um, although if my brakes fail, then it might get exciting, because that's what nearly happened yesterday. My, uh, I had a severe, severe brake fade from those padgy blue pads um, that I've got up front. So today we're going to try and uh, get something better. It shouldn't be too difficult trying to find some new pads for a uh, Porsche caliper at the Nürburgring. It should be quite easy. The first place we're going to try is called Specialist Brakes, run by a guy called Freddy. And um, he sorted me out a couple of years ago with my Integra. My Integra had some brake issues and I went to see Freddy and he got me some good pads. And um, it's not cheap and they're always a bit more expensive than what they would be in England, but it's just the price you pay for the convenience, I guess. And um, yeah, hopefully if we can get some decent pads, like some Padgett Aris 29 or equivalent, then you know, they're, they're not cheap pads anyways, but you know, the, the pads that came with the BBK, the Padgett Blues, I expected better from them, but they didn't even last half a lap yesterday, so. Pretty bad, pretty bad. But uh, yeah, we're here, so let's, um, let's go try and get some brake pads. And then we'll get them fitted in, try and bed them in the best we can, and then hopefully test them out on a tourist session tonight. So we're sharing a house with um, loads of Spaniards, Enric, Adri, you might remember them from last year's ring trip. Um, there are some different cars there as well. Adri's got himself an M3 as well, and there's a couple of S2000s. There's uh, another E46 M3, there's a Porsche Cayman. Uh, have I missed anything else? Oh, there's three S2000s, actually. Um, two of them running Super K24s, but one of them running an F20C, but we can't have everything. And of course, one goal in EG Hatch. There's also Josh's here in the EG Coupe running a K24. Uh, Pete's Accords, just a K24 as well. So, welcome to the Nürburgring. This is just going to be an introduction. Film across the week, make some videos. Sounds good? First time one. Mm. It's Mike's first time here as well. So, and he's going to be on the track day tomorrow. His first time here and he's doing a track day. <laughs> you mad cunt. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe you'll just do the uh, track day tomorrow, get a good feel for it. Because obviously, tourist laps can get a bit hectic. You've all seen the videos of everyone crashing. There's been loads of crashes this weekend as well. Uh, we arrived here yesterday morning, Sunday morning. We drove through the night, got the Euro Tunnel. It's a new thing. It was all right. It's quite long. We didn't go to sleep. I got about half an hour sleep yesterday and then. Went out on the tourist lap, which was probably a bit spicy, but it wasn't too bad. Me and Josh just went out for a casual one. Uh, I didn't video anything though, because, you know, I was going to start the video today. So, here we are, waffled enough. Let's go get some brake pads. Nice life. Yay. That's, that's the town that we're in, Muspath, Muspath, I don't know, I can't pronounce it, but someone probably can pronounce it a bit better than me. But this is where Freddy is, with special brakes, so hopefully he's got some special brakes on him. It's an E46 M3. Nice. Ring spec E46 M3, ring tool. Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s, everyone's got Pilot Sport Cup 2s around here, mate. Seems to be the tire tire. Yeah. yeah. There's Freddy just down here.
But guys, so we just went to see Freddy. Um, if you're in the area, that guy's uh, got a real nice personality. I like talking to him. Is that something you can say about people? Is that normal? Yeah, that's normal, that's normal. Anyway, long story short, we found some pads. Um, it didn't have any RS-29, which the internet recommends. Uh, the internet absolutely loves. If you've got an M3 and you go on the internet and you want to find out what brake pads to get, literally everyone will tell you that you need padded RS-29s. But Freddie made a good point to me, which I found with the Padgett Blues as well, is that they don't have any bite. The, the Padgett Blues don't have any bite, and he says the same from the RS-29, the yellow pad. He says that I won't have any bite. So they'll last long and they're good brakes, but I like a bite. I mean, I like a... You know, I like to press the brake pedal and feel feel the car, you know. And um, one pad that it did have, and it's a pad that I've run before and I really like, was a Dixel Type RA. And uh, it's a pad that I ran on my Integra. And I've run it here at the Norschleife and it was great. Now the Dixel pads are not cheap. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's not, not going to be a cheap do, but you don't really want to scrimp on brakes when you're at the Norschleife. You know, you, you don't want to be going around and have brake fade. Yesterday when I had brake fade, it was one of the scariest moments of my life. I'm not even kidding. I had Josh at the side of me and we're braking into a car and there's an E92 M3 next to me and it's, it, it, was, it was scary to say the least. So yeah, that's what we're probably going to go for these, these Dixel Type RAs. They're not cheap, um, but they're good pads. And uh, like I say, they, they weren't cheap when I bought them for the Integra either. You know, they're expensive pads. And uh, yeah, hopefully we should have some, some brakes now. Um, just need to go and get some cash out, get them bought, and then get them installed. Uh, the M3's currently got no brake pads in it uh, back at the house, so it's just sitting resting. That's why I'm glad Mike slipped me his EG. I've been enjoying driving the EG as well, Mike. It's a yeah. With M3's, so. Yeah. Well, it's, there's, there's just something special about, especially on roads like this, having a little FF screamer just to blast about in. Yeah, it's great. Maybe we'll do a video later in the week. Just, yeah. just doing. We need to do a driving video because. One of the best things about the Nürburgring, I've said it before, is the roads around it. It's not just the track, it's the scenery. Look at all this. Look, just, just look where we are. And it's just, you don't have to go far to find stuff like this. It's literally, if you need to go somewhere, like if you just go into the supermarket, you'll end up driving the road like this. It's, it's crazy, it's great. Who, who wants to see Mike's vlogs again? Because, you know, we've been missing down changes vlogs, haven't we? I have brought my laptop, to be fair. Well, YouTube, you, you'll see the comments, you'll be like, oh, I should have, I should have made some vlogs, man. But we'll see. guest appearance at least. Yeah. yeah. Right, so we're gonna go back to the house and I'll see you there. Yeah. Right guys, so we're back at his house. So what we've done this time is we've rented out a, a big house and shared it between us. Yeah. Um, you can do this as well at like Linda Park and stuff like that, but this is not Linda Park, this is a different place. So we've got two S2000s here. They've come from Barcelona. And obviously my M3's there. We've got uh, Mike's EG at the back. Josh's coupe, and then Pete's brought the uh, Accord, which was just parts car. They only bought this car for the engine, but um, ended up bringing it out on a track day today. And there's some kind of jet flying across. What the fuck is that? Yeah, just, just have a look at the views. <laughs> it's crazy. So yeah, I'm not really one for nature, you know, I don't find myself going out on walks and stuff, but it is nice to be in such a, a nice place. So Josh is just investigating an issue with his radiator, his radiator fan's not coming on and uh, yesterday was super hot so he wants to make sure he gets that sorted out in time. It's meant to be dry tomorrow for the track day, hopefully it is, but um, still temperatures, need to keep an eye on the coolant temperature so just trying to figure out why his fan's not coming on. You see he's got the uh, pliers at the ready. Now the M3 has currently got no brake pads in it. Um, you see all the dust just from those pads but they, they were doing nothing. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll show you the pads. Right, so they're the old pads, these are the Padgy Blue pads that came with my uh, Brembo uh, brake kit from the Boxster S. And uh, as you can see straight away, if you know what you're looking at brake pads, they shouldn't be shiny like that. So they're pretty glazed, as you can see. Now, I was considering trying to clean them up with some sandpaper or something, but to be honest, I was never that happy with them. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about changing them before coming, but um, I thought I'd give them one chance. So we did one service lap last night. And yeah, they just didn't perform, so terrible. So yeah, we're going to be putting those Dixels in. I need to clean up my discs, because my discs will be a bit hanging from the, the glazing. I imagine that'll be on both sides. So we'll clean up the discs, and then uh, yeah, get these pads installed, and then hopefully we'll test them out on a TF session tonight. It should be all right. So we just come to the uh, main ring part to get some cash out for these brake pads. And uh, so this is Mike's CD, obviously. Pull up next to this one on UK Plays, and it's serious as fuck, look. The AP Racing, two-piece discs, calipers up front, we've got two-piece discs at the back as well, stock calipers, but come on man, this thing's insane. There's his Instagram look. The owner's not around at the minute, but pretty cool car. Casual M2. 
an EP3 there as well. These two must be together. Obviously, we part next to them, you know, why not? But yeah, just getting some cash out. I thought I'd show you it. Pretty nice. Got the Range Rover going up to test it. I'll stick it up and shit, man. We're on the, um, this is the industrial estate near the Nürburgring where a lot of the manufacturers are, and there's like KW and um, a couple of other places like that. I've got factories here or workshops here. And uh, yeah, you just saw a lot of uh, Range Rovers there. We must be going out to circuit to do some testing. Uh, we just got the brake pads. Um, yeah, they were a lot of money, but hopefully they will be good. So yeah, we thought we'd just have a quick run around here, because Mike's not been here before, so just like I see. Yeah, cool. Loads of cars. Now, re the Reader Motorsport here. There's so many nice cars we've got. So many nice cars in that car park. It's nice. So many nice cars, eh? Wow. Hey. No. No. It's not everyone in Germany is is, is very polite and welcome. They're a bit like Northerners around here. Hey. Unless they want to talk to you, they won't. Alright, so we're going to go back now and get these pads into the M3. We've got some sandpaper to clean up the disc, try and get rid of the old pad material, because as you saw, they were pretty glazed. So we just try and clean up the disc a little bit. And uh, yeah, we can get all sorted and get out for TF tonight. Pistons in by hand, Mike. Okay, no, it's echo, echo, it's working. Physics. Believe it or not, I'm not even took the uh, cap off the reservoir, but it's pushing back. Yeah. It's all going off today. All the M3s are broken. Yeah. We got yeah. what happened? The new Hondas. Yeah. So, Adri, who had the DC2, Adri, you're going to be on the internet again. Yeah, <laughs> he's bodging his M3 and then... Yeah. UK spec, they say... We've got another UK spec, right hand drive, E46 with some cooling issues. Hey. Yeah, we're taking out this fan and we put another... Yeah, so they've taken the viscous fan away Yeah. and then they've put an electric fan on but it's not doing the job. So they're going to try some water wetter with some fresh uh, coolant. And then they've ordered a viscous fan as well, so they're going to go back to the OEM viscous fan. And hopefully that works, because I mean I had zero cooling issues with mine yesterday. And it was hot yesterday, it was like 28 degrees. Yeah, it was hot, hot. Pixel stickers. You've got to let people know you've paid way too much money for pads, man, but I've got no stickers. Nice. These uh, Porsche calipers are nice to do this change pads on. The uh, persuaders made it to Germany as well. Ready to do some persuading. Uh, it's all going off, but we're going to try and clean the disc with some brake clean and some sandpaper. You got side cuts on it? We don't have to film it. Yeah, but you have a plastic. 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 Yeah,
we've had a bit of a noise from this front right when turning hard left and this disc backing plate is really loose and watch what happens when I press it onto the disc belt which is something that could easily happen when we're turning it starts to hear a bit of a noise which doesn't sound good and because the brake cooling ducts are right in here if you have a look so you've got factory cooling ducts on the M3 and they come in from near the fog light hole and obviously if that's coming in I'm thinking if we remove that we'll have better cooling that makes sense to me right that seems logical yeah Okay. Let's take Spanish out. Agree, yeah? <laughs> Extra weight always. Yeah. Fuck. Always a problem. Alright, so we're taking the caliper off and then the disc off to make this a bit easier. It might be a bit tricky this. Because I'm actually there. I haven't been able to tight put my hand on it. The intensity they put on tight is. You can just go. <laughs> it's fine. I'm very interested to know if this is my noise because there's a lot of there's a bit of metal rubbing on there as well. <coughs> oh no, it's broken up at the top look. That's why it's fucking rattling about. What? Why, right. why you got an angle grinder for brake pads? Changing the pads properly. Oh. Man spec. You don't just use sockets, you use angle grinders. I'm taking my dust shields off because uh, E46s have factory cooling and uh, well the dust shield on the other side was broken and it was rattling and it was hitting the bell of the disc and making a horrible noise so I figured I'd just take them both off but to get them off without taking the hub off uh, can be a bit of a bodge but just wedge some snips in. You need to get the, because it goes all the way inside around here. So cut cut that round there, and then once we uh, grind this bit off here, we should be able to get it off. Oh, there's still a bolt in it, Mike. Ah. I left. I did leave a bolt on it so that the uh, angle grinder would you know, like wobble about. Mm. So, you know, I'm smart like that. So that's that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Ta-da! Strong and stable. So that's that. Oh, the other side's already done. That's the old Nurburgring mods. Yeah. Uh, they got the hub off the E92. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Quite good. Everyone, everyone's still going strong, yeah? Mm. Alright, we're just out um, bedding the brakes. Uh, we've just done a few 50 to 5 mile an hour stops. 50% um, throttle. Um, throttle. 50% brake, brake pedal. Yeah, and. Uh, Instantly the brakes just feel like fucking they've got so much bite compared to the padgy blue pads that were in before. Um, wow. Instant thumbs up. And also by removing the dust shield it seems that our noise has gone. Which is great because I had, a, I had a, a weird noise and I couldn't quite pinpoint it and it was in fact the uh, dust shield. Uh, I need to do a few eight, uh, 80 kilometers stops now Mike, is that right? Yeah. No one behind us. I'm just gonna bang on it. Just wait for it to get flat. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Feel good though. For reference, I had that all the way up around the track yesterday, the armrest, and it never fell forward once. So that gives you an indication of how much brake uh, force I had. I just flew straight down that time. Hang on, I'm gonna do another one. some fucking braking force man, that's, good. that's nice. Just one more, although we're downhill here but we'll be alright. Oh yeah. fucking hell. Perfect. That's got some force yeah. now. More confident then. Yeah, yeah. Feels good man. Right, so what we're going to do now is 
I'm going to show Mike where Brunchton is because Mike's never been to Brunchton before. Right, should we take the camera to Brunchton? Yeah, yeah I'll take it to We're going to Brunchton, so we'll see. I don't think there'll be any cars out now because it's getting towards the end of the day for the manufacturers, but we still might see some out. We might see some people there as well, so yeah, we're just around the corner, so I'll catch you there. Is always Brixton. Yeah, Brixton. Brixton. There's always British people in. Yeah. Always some pumas there on British Regis. In fact, they're the pumas from our hotel. Yeah, they are, yeah. Absolutely committed. Should we, sh we should be doing that. Yeah. yeah. Look, that's how you're going to get the best shot. He's a big fella though. Can you spot my right? Probably. I can't spot myself, mate, look, to be fair. Look, look at the guns. <laughs> Got that t-shirt on, so you'll be alright. Prime era. Yeah. With t-shirts. dismounted successfully. Mm. Right. So we've, we've come to Brunchen, but there's nothing coming round. Uh, might just go back. We need to go sign on for the track day. Yeah. So, might just go back and do that. Sounds like a plan.